watch it watch it watch it watch it watch it definitely don't avoid this and it there's no it depends okay it's watch you are one of those lucky people that can travel anywhere yes ma'am and they sometimes call you nomads i've got nothing written down so i'm gonna just say what's in my heart right now i watch nomadland and i think i try to just forget about all the hype and all of the critical acclaim and all the awards and i just watched it because i am a fan of francis mcdormand and i was curious to see chloe zhao's like chloe zhao the director her work in this big feature oh my god when i tell you the character francis played fern she stayed with me for days afterwards and i felt such a connection with her which is really strange because i'm not a nomad i'm not living in a van traveling the world and trying to just find some sort of peace but i guess in some ways i am i think we all are we all want that moment of like realizing that we're at our, our most comfortable we're happy we're peaceful and we're within the world without damaging it welcome to badland spa what the nomads are doing is not that different than what the pioneers did. Hey, Fern! Gotta make the hole bigger. <laughs> I think Fern's part of an American tradition. Oh, he's gonna come right through the glass. My dad used to say, what's remembered lives. I maybe spent too much of my life Fern! just remembering. This film is beautiful. There is not enough I can say about it. Um, it is made with so much heart and aside from Frances's performance and the character she plays being so touching and you want to just like be a part of her world, seeing nature, seeing desert, seeing trees, seeing animals, just seeing nature that we take for granted, especially on the back of me watching the David Attenborough documentary recently on Apple TV, just made me even more just connect with this story because it just reminded me how much we don't look after our planet and we don't always enjoy it we don't drive off like and then just enjoy the open road and just stay where we want and forget about possessions and all that bullshit but um i'm not saying i'm gonna do a fern and i'm gonna jump into a van and just live on the road but it did kind of make me really appreciate um the open road the world outside things we take for granted and also um to really take a minute to think about other people people that are lonely have lost somebody and decide to do something completely different in their life support show love and be there for them how they want you to be rather than how you think you should be and also different isn't always bad it's just not the same as you and we have to accept that. So Nomadland, believe the hype, believe everything you're reading about it. It is incredible, probably one of the best films, if not the best film I've watched in the last year and a half. Um, so thank you so much to Chloe Zhao for making this film and just passionately wanting to show nomad people in this way and remind us to love the world that we live in. One of the things I love most about this life is that there's no final goodbye. I've met hundreds of people out here, and I don't ever say a final goodbye. Let's just say, I'll, I'll see you down the road. And I do. I see them again. And I can be certain in my heart, I'll see you again.